Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, ASR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangudu. Today we discuss about the topic Principles of Marketing. The first slide we move to Agricultural Marketing. It is an integrated process of moving agricultural product from farm to consumers. Here numerous interconnected activities are involved in doing this such a planning productions, growing and harvesting, grading, packaging, transport, storage, agro and food processing, distributions and sales. Then next we discuss about problems in agricultural marketing in India. The first point, heavy village sale of agricultural commodities. The next factors responsible for village sale, then farmers are indebted to Village money lenders, traders, or landlords. Then farmers dislike city markets. Then existence too of too many middlemen of market changes, multiplicity. Then next we discuss about certain remedial measures for improving agricultural marketing. The first point to establish regulated the market. Then to establish cooperative marketing societies. Then extension and construction of additional storage and warehousing facilities for agricultural produce to the farmers. Then expansion of market yard and other allied facilities for the new and existing market. Then next we discuss about AGMAR. It means it is a quality certificate for certification of market employed on agricultural product of India. Assuring that they conform to the set of standard approved by the directors of marketing and inspection, an agency of government of India. This mark can be applied, can be found on product like ghee, edible, oils, pulses, etc. Then next we discuss about consumerism. It is a commonly understood refers to wide range of activities of government business and the independence organization designed to protect rights of the consumer. It means the consumer has the process to seek right redress to set your rights etc. Then next we discuss about Consumer Production Act. The, uh, the act was passed in 1986 in order to provide the better production of all the interest of the consumer. The Consumer Production Bill 1986 was introduced in Lok Sabha on 5th December 1986. The Consumer Production Act 1986 is a social welfare legislation which was enacted as a result of widespread consumer production movement. The act applies to whole India except the Jammu and the Kashmir. Then next we discuss about consumer rights. Here the consumer have rights to rights to then consumer responsible include the first point for safety, the production from product and services that are hazards to the their health. Use the product safely, follow all the safety instructions and remaining alert for future warning. The next information. It provides for the information that ensure all the product statement are accurate and truth. Here the analyze and use information about product wisely. Then choice, it means selection of goods and services as per the fair price. Here choose carefully. Then next be here, it is the voice in the creation of laws under the development of goods and services. Then here we discuss about express concern to those who can help. Then redress, here the request money, benefit as per compensation or company mistake. Here make two effort to seek compensation for the wrong. Then education, how to access to program and information that help to make better buying decision. Here learn about changing nature of the product. Then healthy environment live and work in a environment that does not damage their health. Here, here they make choice that minimize the environmental impact on purchase on others. Then have a basic need, needs meet. 
the fundamental rights of access to food, water and shelter here is consumed are sustainable. Thank you for watching this.